Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out my videos, alright? Um, th this is uh, how to make an extension cord any length you want out of a cord that comes off of uh, another unit that's bad, okay? Like your heaters, your, um, your APCs, your uh, power surges, anything with a good healthy cord. You can get these off of eBay and Amazon uh, and, and in packs of two or three. Alright, you want to leave it all together and when you cut, you want to put this going through the back. All right, and you want to push it all the way through. All right, you're going to take this off and pull it through there. Now, what, uh, what's happening now is you're prepping, and all this is going to be on. This is your collar. This is the insulation that goes over, and this is going to go downstream, and we're going to get this out of the way. All right, we're, we have these split up. Okay, I pulled these apart. All right, and now we've we got to strip the wire off. Now, use strippers. You, you can use... Uh, uh, a knife or whatever, but be careful you don't hit the strands inside and you and you go ahead and just pull it pull it off All right, make sure you're not going to destroy everything around on the table uh, as your hand goes flying um, But the, this come from Radio Shack. They're they're uh, they're per relatively cheap and If you don't use them that much, you know Do what you gotta do. So I twist them up All right, and you're going to need a meter. I have my meter set on ohms with a, a tone all right, borrow a meter from a friend or uh, purchase one. You can hear the tone. So you need to check which one is which to go into your socket. If you cross them and make a mistake, you're going to have to redo it. So my thing is to find the middle one. So I'm going to take, it doesn't matter which one, red or black, and I'm going to go to each one of these down here. This uh, I'm going to bring it up here and separate them, all right, and go to each one. I know it's the middle one. So that you can see it on the meter, I'm going to hold this, and there's the tone. So that's my middle one. So that's the one I'm going to do first. So I'm going to take this to where the middle one is on the other side, and I'm going to curl it in the direction that, uh, that it spins underneath. I'm going to put this underneath the plate. The plate is acting like a washer. So when you're turning the screw, you're not spinning the, you know, what's out of the, wire itself and it clamps it down. So I'm going to stick this around and then I'm going to screw it down. I don't use a power tool because it's a very short screw and you don't want to strip it out and stuff. So now we have our other two. Now you got to keep in mind something. This sits like this and there goes the screws. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, there's another screw if it comes out. Uh, that's the screws that hold the back onto the front. All right, you need to find out which two go into the other two screws. Now, when you're looking at this, we're gonna go for the bottom, all right? So, when you're looking at this, okay, which side are we gonna to go to? We're gonna look at the outer one. So, the, what's gonna go into this outer one because when this is like this, it's the straight downstream. I hope you understand that, but nevertheless, we're going to prove that uh, the wiring is good. All right, so I need to find out which is which here, and that's it right there. So this wire is that wire. So I'm going to put this wire into this one over here. So um, this one over here is this. I want to get this out of the way, and we know the last one goes into the other one, process elimination. Now, if you want to make sure of that, you can always read it out, but I know it's a process of elimination. So I'm going to push that in. It automatically twirls around the other side. Let me do that. And then I'm going to, I don't even have to read this, but I could if I want. When, when we're um, looking at this again, right here, I'm doing the inner one right here and the last one and there it is it, it, when I was an electrician in the Navy we were told to read out every one of them even the last one in case you made a mistake and that might be a good practice to make sure that you actually have a reading on it so I need to get this curled around underneath I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing here but I just, all I'm doing is putting the wires in and I'm screwing them down if you see a little bit of copper 
behind this. Don't worry about it as long as it's not touching another thing. I'm doing my best so you can see everything and I will show it before I put the uh, color on. Alright, you're going to give it a tug. That's okay because that all came out. It's okay if that does that. It's just that uh, it comes out of the outlet. So you know that um, that's the ground and it goes on the bottom and you just push it back in. That's because the screws are out. The screws that, um, the, these are the screws that go in the front. I'm not worried about that right now. So I've done this so many times and believe it or not I had to restart this video because I was jumping the gun. Alright, so you, uh, you bring this over. These are not going to pull off and what happens is uh, this goes over and you push it all the way on. You use some force to get the thing and I push it down to make sure it's all the way on. Now you have some, uh, you, yeah, before you do this, there is areas, I'm going to back it off some just so you can see. The screws are in there. The screw, uh, where the screws go, so you need to line those up. Alright, so um, there is a keyway right there, a hard thing. You bring it around and that locks into the top right here. I think. No, no it doesn't. Alright, just bring, the, bring them up to, to where they go into the holes. It, it's alright. I've, I've never actually uh, done an instruction on this, but <laughs> it's alright. And, and you know, if, if it doesn't line up with the screws going in the front, uh, alright, you just move it around until it hits a hole. Alright, that's probably the hardest part of this whole thing. I want to make sure that this actually does. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back. Um, this is actually going in. So I'm going to screw all the screws in. I don't need to show you how to do that. But um, the one thing you do is you bring this collar up back here and you fasten it down nice and tight. And I'm not going to show you that. I'll show you when it's done because I want to plug it in the wall and show you that the polarity is right. And I have a tester to do that. All right, be right so back. So I plugged it into the wall and there's my two indicators. And up here it says two indicators and the connection is good. Is correct. All right, these are really cheap, uh, and they, uh, I mean, you could check your outlets and everything. Uh, go ahead and um, they get one if you can. Uh, I've had this thing for a very long time, and it checks you uh, when you put a new outlet in someplace, you check it to make sure it's good. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope this help find you, you find this helpful. Um, and uh, check out my other videos. Take care. Bye. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. All right, hit subscribe while you're here, and there's a lot more videos coming, a lot to look at. All right, peace out.